Hello, guys. This is Dr. Lior Barl, and man, am I excited uh, to do a review for this. A lot of you guys actually asked me uh, to check out what's called the Split pad pro now you guys remember i was looking always for like gift options and all these cool things and i found this controller that's really dirt cheap and really nice for like what was it seven dollars or whatever so you guys wanted to know if they had something because obviously we're not getting a nintendo switch pro uh like i said before i do believe there was a pro the bloomberg market didn't line uh d didn't lie there was that in in uh probably in their thoughts but unfortunately because of the shortages and everything like that we're not going to see another one for another year or possibly even two so um you know it, it's pretty sad because of what's going on with the world uh and i do believe that nintendo had that in mind originally and that's why then they threw us a bone and uh gave us uh bluetooth <laughs> I don't know how people weren't angry about that because now we know that they waited this long to give us Bluetooth when it was capable all the time. Anyway, so we're going to do a review about this baby right here and we're going to see how good it is. Now, I got a chance to actually get my hands on this and I got to say, I kind of liked it, but I'll get to it. So anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so this is what it's called. It's called the Split Pad Pro, okay? No joke. So this is how it looks. Everything here, uh, what does it say? Full size, uh, size shoulder buttons. Uh, finally, a precision D-pad. This is pretty much everything we really wanted, except, you know, there's going to be a caveat, which we're going to go over right now. But first, let's do the unboxing. It comes in uh, several... Uh, three colors or something uh and it actually took me a long time to find this uh my wife and i during our honeymoon we were actually looking from walmart to walmart and we actually found the uh black edition when uh when i finally saw it i was like uh, i was so excited and i'm like oh yeah finally we got this and this is good i got a black one and anyways <laughs> Has a Nintendo seal on it by Nintendo uh, Switch, right here, Nintendo Switch. Has the Nintendo Switch, uh, I was sorry, Nintendo seal, and it's by a company called Hori, as we all know who they are. Uh, they've been making controllers for God knows how long already. Um, and there's some things that, okay, so, you know, whatever. Uh, and now here goes the beauties right here. Look at the size of this thing. We'll get into that. Um now i am gonna say this they are completely weightless so i don't know if they will really survive a big big drop but this thing actually did survive a drop <laughs> so i'll tell you that now if you look at these things they look pretty cool they're very padded good response good tactile feedback it doesn't feel cheap i will tell you this it doesn't feel cheap at all Okay, there's the D-pad. Now, I am going to say this. A lot of you guys, I don't know why you're still questioning this. I told you guys this before. Um, the OLED and the regular switch has the same attachment. So everything that fits on one will fit on the other. Okay, so just don't worry about it. So I do love the fact that this thing actually, if you look, hold on. So it still has that button to release. Okay, but this thing right here holds on to it more tighter than let's say the other ones uh the regular uh you know joy cons and right here you're putting in the other one and now look at this baby okay so this thing becomes bigger now i am gonna say this this no longer becomes uh, a system that you could fit in your pocket anymore i'm i kid you not this thing is bulky in fact it goes over you see the lcd by quite some as you could see and of course the oled has a little bit more difference i'm charging it right now but it's the same uh right here look at that full-fledged wings right here buttons has two buttons over here they're programmable and everything uh has the start much better than the joy con start uh and you know menus and all that uh the d-pad it has uh turbo assign buttons right here as you could see pretty awesome again great tactile feedback the home button right here assign and turbo on this as well really nice i mean and i am gonna say this my friend 
who actually, when I told him I was going to do a review, he said he act he had this. So uh, he had it for over a year and hasn't had any kind of drifting issue. So again, this is probably, if you guys, okay, first off, you're getting the OLED simply because most of us just game, you know, portably. So we game on the go. Those of you guys that are going to be playing it for dock mode are going to need to buy, uh, are not going to need to buy this. And I'm going to explain to you, this is where the caveat comes along. There's no battery in this, therefore, there is no, um, there is no uh, wireless uh, so you can't have these uh, go wireless, uh, you know, uh, to play it on tabletop mode and uh, what do you call it, uh, to play it on dock. So it's not going to work with dock or tabletop mode. The only way this is going to work is if it's attached directly. Now, I know what most of you guys are going to ask. You're going to say, well, Lior, that means it's drawing power from the unit itself. Does it take a lot of power from the unit? From my studies, okay, from what I've done, and I've actually used this, as I told you, this is a brand new item though, but uh, I use this and I've noticed that it doesn't even take uh, 15 to 20 minutes away uh, from your battery life. So it takes about 10%. From the battery life, I would say if, if you're gaming for, you know, hours on end, playing Breath of the Wild for hours on end, like five hours, you're going to, you know, it's you're going to have more than enough before you go bored. You're not going to have to worry about that. But it does draw very little energy from uh, the battery on the Switch. So it's not something to worry about at all. Now, this obviously is not going to fit in your case. I know some of you guys asked about that. It will not because this thing does go above and beyond what... The normal size uh, for the switch is and also not to mention you know and the wideness the height is just not good uh, with uh, you're gonna have to get another case probably cases for cameras or something like that that you know are uh, I know I had one by uh, Ruggard or uh, oh god what was, who was the one that made no not Bofk Bofk was uh, for the other one uh, Ruggard I think makes it I'm not sure and Ore Ore also makes these wide cases that you could put GoPros and stuff on and you could put the, you know you could put this thing in there with no issue whatsoever so I would you know do I recommend this I mean I'm gonna say this as a person who games uh, mostly uh, on the go yeah. I mean, I actually enjoy playing it. Now, is it portable in your pocket? No, but you know what? My Nintendo Switch can fit in my pocket. It fits, but if I, you know, putting the Joy-Cons in, are you kidding me? With all the drifting issues, you'll probably smash some button there and boom, that doesn't work anymore. So most of us have it in these cases and we take it out of our book bags or bags or shoulder bags or whatever, man purses or whatnot, or if you're a lady, you know, purse or whatever. Most of us already have a bag for it, so you take it out, you play, you game. To play this on the subway and just hold it in your hands like this, it's great. Now, I am going to say there is an issue here that I would have loved to see, which is grips, okay? So there's there's really no grips here. I mean, you could tell they made like striations here, sort of, you see? So it, it kind of mimics what it is. I would have much rather see rubber on it that can act, you know, I understand rubber wears out, but at least you'd have more of a grip. This, I feel like it's kind of slippery on me, so I don't know. But holding it in your hands, like, you know, really grabbing it hard, uh, when you're playing the games, especially here or even on the D-pad, to play Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, I hate playing it on the joystick. So to play it with a D-pad really does make a difference. I mean, I absolutely love it, you know, doing those Hadoukens or, you know, uh, Sub-Zero Freezes and stuff like that, or, uh, you know, Scorpion. And even Fatalities are such a pleasure to do when you have a D-pad over a stupid joystick. I just never liked joysticks unless they were big, like arcade style. I just never really enjoyed the tiny joysticks especially on a freaking joy con that is made for like two-year-olds i'm sorry but look how big my freaking hands are i have orangutan hands my finger here completely blankets the hell out of everything even sideway finger blank uh, but you, you see like this look at this it's impossible not to break this and that's 80 bucks this is 40 okay now you can find it on ebay for about 30 35 uh Really cool. Again, you can't play this on tabletop mode. You can't uh, play this on, you know, uh, dock station. You can only play this strictly on your Nintendo Switch on the go. Now, I think with that in mind, most of us that play it on the go, 
this would be a real good substitute for these two-year-old, you know, uh, these Joy-Cons made for two-year-olds. So, um, at least for me, that's what it is with my orangutan hands. I'm sorry, that's just how I am. Uh, so... I, what do I give this? Well, like I said, I wish it had grips. So that definitely is going to have a negative right there. So we have nine so far. Um, now, would I have loved to see a battery in there and that you could play it? To be honest, guys, the way the form factor is on this thing, I mean, unless you had one of those other, you know, the, the one that you put your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons in and you could just 3D print it, it because it has no grips, okay, to play it like this feels extremely weird and cumbersome even with my orangutan hands i would not be able to play it like this it, it just you can't do it it just doesn't feel right in your hands so i think the the best thing and i <laughs> i kind of like that they have this to like it, it's so funny because like you can't even see like the readouts because there's no battery in it obviously but it's made for the nintendo switch on it that's why it needs that but um you can't play them like that anyway. They're just too big. So even if they did come out with a battery, so I can't knock off points for that. Now, the fact that it draws so little battery power makes it just that much better, really. And it kind of feels like a Steam Deck in your hands. I don't know, except, you know, the Steam Deck, when I got my hands on it, had better, it just felt better in your hands. But this thing really does feel better than a Joy-Con. And I, I, I don't know. I'm going to give this a... I'm going to say a 9 out of 10 um, because I really don't see anything negative about it. And now I kind of like the feel because when you hook it up to this, the fact that these are weightless, when you hook it up to this, it has that weight to it. So it does feel good in your hands. So it's, it's pretty good. Uh, the tactile feedback is amazing. The fact that it doesn't have drift and all, all of that stuff. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I definitely do recommend it. I bought it from Walmart. I'm sure you could find it on eBay and other places. I like black. Uh, I think there's in red and other colors as well. So definitely check that out. But that's my take on it. And I again, guys, keep those requests coming. I'm going to do the reviews for you guys. Once I find these things, I get them and you know, we do the review and it was so funny because you guys requested, I had about maybe 20 some odd requests for this. And I know GameStop at one point had it. I don't see it in the GameStop near me or the GameStop uh, that's a little further away from me. So I couldn't find it. And then suddenly I see it in Walmart. I'm like, I'm going to get it. Uh, green or red or whatever. I'm like, nah, let me go to the other Walmart. Went to the other Walmart. Boom. Got it in black. Dig it. I love the black color. You guys might like other colors, but definitely check those out. But Definitely rec recommend it for on the go. So uh, those who are portable players, you guys are going to absolutely love me for doing this review, for telling you guys to get it if you get it. Uh, if you are uh, dock or, um, you know, uh, you played in tabletop mode, uh, we got to wait. Uh, so we're kind of stuck with these for now. Uh, I really do wish that somebody even makes a cheesy Joy-Con that actually works wireless and everything and perfectly like the Nintendo Switch one works in terms of battery and how long it lasts and all that, but without all the drifting nonsense. So I showed you guys how to fix the drifting uh, problem permanently using hardware, uh, not that cardboard cutout nonsense because those wear out and then you have to do it all over again. And as I told you guys, when you take these apart, uh, because of the cheap plastic, it does actually break and then you're kind of screwed. So the best thing to do is just if you open it once, just do what I did and I showed you guys how to do it and you could replace everything and nothing's going to happen. I still have my Nintendo Joy Nintendo Joy-Cons that I did the repair, including this one, as you can see. Uh, and it works flawlessly and I have metal sides, so it locks right into place. So, uh, you know, all of those I did a review on, so definitely check those out. Anyways, guys. This is the independent channel, the people's channel. I'm not a paid for reviewer. Uh, I combat these idiots. Okay. So like subscribe, hit that bell button because it helps out the algorithm a lot. You know, share it with everybody, you know, let this family grow. This is our channel. The reason I opened it is so I can give you guys the truth and you guys can give everyone else the truth. And together we can help the community at large make better informed decisions. I love you guys for offering uh, Patreon services and everything for me, uh, to me. And I love you guys for it. You don't know how much I love you. I went to Walmart. I went to, uh, uh, target the other day even, and people just like stop me and say, Hey, 
man. Thanks for helping me with psychology videos. Thank you for helping us with the Nintendo Switch or, you know, NECA, you know, uh, statuettes and stuff like that. And, and that just warms my heart. I promise you. This is the reason why I opened this. I, I, I hated seeing people getting ripped off. And this is an absolute pleasure and a true honor to be here and serving you guys. And I hope you could help me and serve the others so we could both together serve the community. So... I don't accept an, um, uh, any Patreon or any tips or any of those things because I love you guys and I know we live in uncertain times and I work three jobs to make this happen. I'd rather you guys keep the money, invest in you know some of these uh, tech, uh, but you guys are doing more than enough. You're commenting, which is the most important. And then you could say, do you agree? Do you disagree? What did you find that's better? What's not? And then we could help the community at large make better informed decisions. That's really the only reason I opened this channel in the first place. Anyways, guys, love you all. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it. And I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.